My name is Kevin Oates, I'm the Managing Director of Marine Money Asia and uh, we're here today in Dubai to hold our 14th annual Marine Money Gulf Ship Finance Conference. Marine Money is a shipping intelligence uh, provider. We give a lot of information on shipping finance principally. We gather uh, data from banks, from uh, equity, from ship owners and we're able to put together extremely interesting graphs and charts which I think are quite unique in the industry. We hold uh, 17 or 18 conferences around the world every year, so we have a great network of uh, experts, uh, bankers, ship owners, brokers, lawyers, all the finance providers, and we're able to get an extremely good general view of uh, trends uh, in the market. Today at the conference we'll be touching on the, you know, the oil and gas uh, industry, where it is. It's very important for this region, of course, so we're very much looking forward to the event today. We'll have a very good cross-section of uh, the industry and of finance providers, both from the region, but we have Chinese leasing companies coming into town, we have international banks coming from Europe and from Asia, and uh, all of this uh, will be uh, a great networking opportunity for these people to meet and hopefully to uh, create uh, new business. Good afternoon, uh, my name is Fazil Fazilboy, I'm the CEO of Synergy Offshore, it's a private consultancy company that specializes in offshore marine um, oil and, and the oil and gas sector. Today's uh, subject was the direction of uh, where oil is going and what are the alternatives to the fuel and what options uh, are there going forward. All of this of course is in the context of the Marpol Annex 6 regulations that are coming in regarding low sulfur fuel. Uh, with a cap at 0.5% uh, effective January 1st, 2020. Now, in order to comply, there are three fundamental ways that ship owners can comply. The first, of course, is to install scrubbers. Option two is to switch to low sulfur fuel. And the third is to switch to alternate fuels, which either could be a blend, it could be MGO, it could be LNG, it could be methanol, or a variety of other substitutes. My name is Angelica Kemene and I'm Head of Market Analysis and Intelligence. I work for Optima Sipping Services. So I'm going to present the dry bulk fundamentals divided in both uh, the demand side and the supply side. And after presenting um, what is going to happen in 2018 and what happened in 2017, the panel will discuss about the dry bulk market and if the dry bulk market is actually an industry to invest in 2018. The panel uh, is consisted of ship owners and charterers and we will uh, listen to very interesting uh, information with regards to the dry bulk market. I think today's uh, discussion marine money was very, very constructive. Uh, I think a lot of ideas were exchanged. Uh, we were obviously looking forward to some interaction with the, uh, with the charters as well because we all are talking only bullish right now, so it's always good to hear a perspective where people are cautious or if they disagree with us in any way, it's, there's always a room for improvement. Uh, so in, with that perspective, I think it was a very, very healthy discussion and we always look forward to our discussion with Marine Money to take, uh, and we always take something back home. What we have seen today, we, we have heard the opinions from the broker's side and from the owner's side. The entire panel was quite positive, some of them very positive, some other cautiously optimistic, but uh, definitely it shows that uh, we have the next two, three years ahead of us at least, sentiment-wise, are going to be better than the years before. We have touched also the eco-vessel philosophy, economical and ecological. Um, we have given the reasoning why we believe that this is the future and why 2020 is going to be a game changer and probably will lead into tier, two tier market on the ships that are not going to follow this philosophy.
terms of the discussion today, um, it is a more positive overall context than it has been for some years in shipping. That, in broad terms, is as a result of the supply or oversupply of ships finally uh, meeting, the, be, meeting the demand uh, for the movement of freight uh, across the world. It differs from sector to sector, but notable today was the optimism of some of the dry bulk uh, market players who in recent years have suffered enormously uh, through the oversupply of vessels, uh, many of them financed speculatively. So overall, the industry is probably at a better point now than it was 12 months ago. It is a global industry which responds to uh, global uh, initiatives and global influences, but it's certainly one which, uh, from our perspective, provides investment opportunities now.